What advice would you give independent artists who are looking to get their music synced more? Let's say maybe they've had a couple or maybe they've had none. Like, what do you recommend artists on how they can kind of break into sync licensing? I mean, look, it's hard. We get a lot of emails. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's important to know your business. To yeah. know, to have splits figured out, make sure you have full legal names, mm -hmm. you know who um, who represents everybody that owns the copyright, be registered with the PRO. Mm -hmm. um, um, have contact for everybody, have an instrumental available, mm. have high res fi uh, files available, have a clean available um if there's like no swearing correct yeah. and you know for for one of the networks that i work for they want what's called a, a clean wipe or a syllable to syllable meaning if you're saying fuck in mm. your song you can't hear f ah. and have it be like silent or right. like you can't <laughs> right, you can't right, 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 hear right, that right. like it needs to be completely removed or you know yeah. if you have the luxury of saying another word, mm -hmm. um, mm. then you can do that as well. So it's not like a complete dropout. Do you need um, stems? Are they helpful? I think I never do. Okay. I um, f I don't want to speak for everyone, but I sure. think trailers mm. like to have stems okay. from sure. from just from going to panels and stuff. Because I I know nothing about trailers, yeah. but I love learning about sure. because it's such a different business. Right. Um, and I know that they'll like, ha they'll really fuck with stems and mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't usually need them. Gotcha. Yeah. Very, very rarely. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think it's important to know, you know, when I got, when I have people email me about, you know, getting their music at Insecure, I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't do that show, bro. Mm. <laughs> so that's kind of a turn off. Right. Um, do your research. <laughs> do your research. Yeah. And also try and find, um, independent, licensing companies there's a million out there mm -hmm. and try and get on board with them because those are the people so i you know they can sign off on everybody so i don't have to do there's four writers doing four quote requests and four master requests like mm -hmm. one stops are always yes. much better yes um but knowing also so when i say you know okay who's this person's publishing company you know is it with them like just know who it is even whether it's like universal but also whether it's pulse or cobalt mm -hmm. because that will change how i can use the song meaning mm -hmm. with some of the majors mm -hmm. they just you know demand more money mm -hmm. and there's not oh my manager can make a call that doesn't work that's very bad business between me and my sync licensing people uh -huh. at the labels. It just it creates bad blood. Mm -hmm. That's only when it's like something really crazy important. But I try to never, ever do that. Or if I do do that, it's like, hey, Warner Chapel, just so you know, like the manager's involved in this one, whatever. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. that's never going to happen. Like, right. oh, my manager will. No. <laughs> no. Um, so if a writer on the song is with a major or one of the major indies, mm -hmm. um, that's going to change how I can pitch the song because I know that I'm going to need to have more money for that. And I might be filling out a party scene with three or four just, you know, background, you know, vibe type music. Sure. That instead of, you know, going to a library, I'd rather support an independent artist, give them three grand, mm -hmm. get them in a cool show. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I can't, but, you know, Pulsar Universe will never clear anything for $3,000. Right. So that I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to wait until I have a spot where I can spend that money.